Welcome, everybody. Hey, hey. Good boy, Tucker. Work smarter where you want. This is learning at its most fun. Good morning or afternoon. Thank you so much for tuning in with us today on our Using the CRM Daily. I'm so excited to get started today. We're going to go over some general use of the CRM for your everyday use. So let's jump right in here. So when you open the CRM, one of the most useful pages you can use right away will be the Today page. Now, you have a lot of different options on the Today page. For example, if you come up to the toolbar, right at the very top, you can access quite a few different tabs just from the Today page, like accounts or activities or potentially even email if you're utilizing the Redtail email service. But if we come down right below that toolbar, you can see that we have access to some things on a more macro scale. For example, if we click into our AUM right here, we can see that we can access a quick look at all of the accounts within Redtail. So I can even see, you know, which accounts we have open by clicking in here. If we click back, we can even look up the agent's name or potentially even see our linked or even deleted accounts at a glance. If we come back into our today page, we can also see that we can access any reminders we have. So if we potentially have any birthday or account reminders, we can access them all from this reminders tab on our today page pretty simply. For example, if we come over to the right hand corner where we see the filter option, we can filter all of the different reminders that exist within the CRM. So for example, like I said, review reminders or potentially those birthday reminders if we need to send out any cards. Awesome. We'll head back into the today page. And from here, if you are utilizing workflows in this same section, you can see all of your active workflow tasks as well. Now, if we come down to the next box right below our second toolbar section, we can see that this is the, all the things we have to do today. Now, I, for example, have two things that we can do today. Now, you do have a couple of different options of changes you can make directly from here. So for example, if we look at our little action button, we can see that we can either edit, complete, roll over, reschedule the task, or potentially even see the timeline for the task. Now, if we potentially wanted to see all of our past due or upcoming activities as well, maybe, you know, we want to see, we didn't, we don't know if we finished all of our activities from the previous day, we can come up to this right hand corner and just quickly select past due. And this will take us to a screen that tells us all of our past due activities. Oh no, it looks like I have quite a few. I hope my boss isn't watching. <laughs> Um, but from here, once we know which activities are past due, we can also utilize the filters in the corner to, do a, to show us a couple of different pieces of information. So for example, we can filter by date. So we can see just the past due and potentially the activities due today, as well as maybe even just the past due or just the ones from maybe yesterday. So we only have two from yesterday. Now from here, you can also do what is called rolling over an activity. Now, for example, if we selected all these activities from yesterday because maybe we just forgot to do them, we can come up to activity options in the top right hand corner and select roll over. And what this is going to do is just make their start and end date today's date. So it just rolls them over to today. So then they become things we have to do today. Now, if we continue to filter by our activities, there is one other option we have where we can filter by different users as well. So if we come back to our filter dates and select just past due, maybe we can see all of the past due for anyone in the system. So if we want to see everyone's past due or potentially just maybe Rachel's, we could see all of Rachel's past due activities. Hopefully Rachel's doing better than me. Oh no, she's not doing much better than I am. <laughs> we have got some catching up to do. Now from here, you can also add an activity. So if we're on the today page, for example, and you just had a quick activity to add, you could also add an activity directly from here, as well as from the quick add button in the corner. So if we continue to scroll down, 
We can also access any workflow tasks we have for that day. So if you're utilizing workflows, um, you could go ahead and click right here. It looks like we don't have any due today, but if we did have any due, this is where they would appear. As well as any birthday reminders are available at a gl glance and today reviews. So potentially any annual reviews that you have due today will also appear in this box. If you're utilizing mobile assistant or any one of our talk to text uh, integrations with Redtail, these would also appear down here at the very bottom of your today page. Awesome. Another really useful part of Redtail that you would most likely access every day if you are utilizing would be the Redtail calendar. So if we come over to the left hand side and we select the calendar to be your second option, we can see kind of at a glance what our day or even week is going to look like. So if we start from the left hand side and kind of work our way across, we can see that we can easily toggle between weeks with our little arrows here. So if we maybe wanted to see, oh, last week I had, I had so many things I was doing with Princess Aurora and Prince Stefan that I, you know, maybe shouldn't focus on them so much this week. Or if we wanted to see next week. Now, if you easily get a little far out and then you realize you don't wanna click all the way back, you can always hit the today button and it'll take you right back to today. Now, the calendar, just like the today page, also has a little bit of a toolbar right at the top. So for example, the navigate button can help you navigate weeks or even months ahead of time or potentially even years if you needed to. The action button is where a lot of your preferences are going to be located. So for example, if you wanted to maybe see any workflow target dates you had due that day or that week, you could make sure these were selected. Or if you wanted to see any client birthdays, looks like I don't have any client birthdays this week but you could also show any holidays or potentially any marital anniversaries as well. Now the next button is actually going to be a filter for all of the users within your system to see their calendars as well. So maybe you need to come in and I wanna see Rachel's calendar as well as mine. Okay, Rachel doesn't have any conflicting times on Friday, maybe that would be a good time for a meeting. Or potentially we could also filter our activities by types or categories as well. So you know, you log in, maybe you just wanna see all of the client onboarding appointments you have. Oh, I have one, great. Or maybe you wanna see just at all of the appointments. Using the type and categories for the calendar can be incredibly helpful if you maybe just wanna gauge what specific appointments you have that day. Excellent. And then it's easy to just come back and select everything. Now, one other change I will recommend about the calendar is if you do prefer to have things color coordinated, if we come up to the actions button right in that toolbar we discussed, the first option is to change your colors. So from here you can also color coordinate your calendar if you needed to. Excellent. Now Another useful section of the CRM for daily use would be our report section. So for example, when we click in on the left hand side, we can scroll down to one of my favorite reports, which is the activities assigned to you by others or potentially the activities assigned to you by others. Now, I know some of you watching are probably in charge of some people, so I would definitely recommend utilizing these two reports to kind of track to see if you do need to hold others accountable for due dates or potentially finished work. So for example, if we click into maybe this one, the activities assigned to you by others, we can see kind of how this report looks and what we can filter by. Oh. Oh. Well, I guess I don't have any activities assigned to me right now, but that's okay. Because if we come up to the toolbar that appears right after you open a report, you can easily access the other activity reports from here. So instead of running the to you by others, let's run the by you to others. Let's see, oh, there we go. Now we have some activities. Now from here, we can filter as well as export this information as, and send this in a PDF if we needed to. So all of this is located up in the top right hand corner. But if we come over to the side, we can also see that we can make adjustments to these activities as well. So potentially if you needed to roll over an activity for another user or give a user more time to work on the activity or potentially even just complete the activity, we could select all of the activities or maybe just a few 
and come up to activity options and select either change field, complete, reassign, reschedule, or that rollover option that we used earlier. Now, if we click back into reports or potentially even utilize our toolbar up here, another really useful report would be the client review note report. So if we come over to the notes section, we can run the notes by contact report. And in here, we can see any of the notes. Oh, I got a little click happy there, I'm sorry, for a particular user during a frame of time. So I haven't entered any notes for yesterday, but if we come up to the filter button in the top right hand corner, we can filter by start and end date. So I didn't write any notes for any clients between these dates, but if I adjust it back to maybe, let's go all the way back to May, and we'll end it on today because today, or tomorrow because today is the 29th. <laughs> if only it were Friday. And then we could even potentially have a particular note text we want to locate. We could run by contact name as well if we needed to. So any notes for a particular contact, or maybe we could even run it by a category or a type if your office is choosing to utilize those, which I have to have my little plug for types and categories again. If you're not utilizing them, please do. And then we can come down here and select apply filters. And that'll pull up all of our notes that we've written since I think I selected, I selected May 1st. And from here, we can easily access those. So potentially, if you are someone who is pulling that frequent information or maybe just pulling information every couple days, these reports could be incredibly useful to you to use in a quick amount of time. Awesome. Now I'm going to bring you all over to my handy dandy PowerPoint here because there is one other aspect of the CRM that you may or may not know about, but it is actually the Redtail mobile CRM. So there are quite a few things that you can do within the mobile CRM. For example, you can access any sort of opportunities you may have if that was some, if you are utilizing the opportunities tab within your team. You can access your calendar as well or any potential appointments that you have for that day, make any edits to them if you need to right from your phone. You can access your contacts. And something that's really cool about the CRM, is, or the mobile CRM I should say, is that if we were in our phone and we needed to call Mr. Stark here, we could actually just select that name and it would dial for us or potentially even send him a text or an email directly from his contact card on the mobile CRM. And finally, you can complete activities quickly from the mobile CRM, as well as edit them or potentially even add a new activity within the CRM. So utilizing, if you're not already, the mobile app for Redtail is so simple. I can attest to it myself. When I get ready for work in the morning, the first thing I do is I log into my mobile CRM, especially if you have um, an iPhone or an Android. I know it's available for both. And if you do have an iPhone, I just use my, my face ID and it logs me in right away. And then I can see everything that I have to do for that day. Um, so that's just another feature within the overall CRM that could be useful to you or potentially your team on a daily basis. Today we went over the Today page. We discussed how to access, quick access our accounts. We learned about any reminders or accessing quickly any workflow tasks, as well as looking at the things we have to do today and knowing which parts of the CRM are the easiest to utilize for quickly accessing our daily schedules, as well as any workflow tasks we have to do that day. Um, we also discussed some of the features of our calendar and if we need to quickly access anything for our calendar, uh, as well as any preferences we may wanna hide or open up for that daily CRM use. And finally, we learned about some reports that could be useful if we're someone that needs to pull that information in a bulk way or potentially have a mass amount of information for a particular team. Now, I realized that um, I did mention opportunities in the mobile app. If you did need to quick, quick access your opportunities from the Today page, because I mean, those are equally as important, we could just access them directly from this toolbar. And here we can have a quick access to our opportunities 
in a similar fashion to the way we would access our accounts or potentially our activities as well. You could see them in a 30, 60, or 90 day view, or potentially just view all of them if you needed to. And that would open up right to the opportunities tab page. As well from here, if we click back into our opportunities tab, we can see that you can also create a new opportunity here. And once again, if you're not utilizing categories or types, I do recommend it just because it's so much easier to keep a clean data within the CRM if you're utilizing those different organizational techniques. Thanks so much for joining us today for this particular session. If you have any questions, please don't hesitate to give us a call at 800-206-5030, option three for support, or just shoot us an email over to support at redtailtechnology.com. Thanks a lot and have a great day.